Uh, I've recorded this already, but my audio recording kind of crashed. I don't know why. So let me just redo this again. This from where we left off. So same model. Stop this render for now. I think in the previous lesson we are, we are, we were at this position. So cut lag iterations to just set height to zero point five. Scalar var, scalar zero var to zero point five also. So if a, if we expected from ZBrush, at least with the default setting, I believe this zero point five should work just fine. Then turn up, turn on, check on auto bump. Then in the height, I like to I like to have it at zero point five. So, but now, but now we don't have any displacements in this. Let's plug a displacement map in there. So I have a displacement map. I have my displacement map. So I'll just copy this. But this is my displacement in here, baked out of ZBrush. So, so apply the displacement. We need to create a displacement shader. So in here, I'll just delete this. I'll plug this in here. Stretch this out. Select this. Come in here. Click on the checker pattern. File. Put this here. Okay, like so. Select this. Let's plug. Okay, so I did there. Because I already worked on it already. So, it is displacement map in here. So, I'm going to open this up. Put this to raw. Alpha is luminous. That's fine. Minimize. Collapse this instead. So, let's fire up our render. Let's fire up our render. I render this out already. So, let me up this. This is this is the render in here completed already. This is the render with the same setup. This is the render in here. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is to bring in the other maps. Let's bring in the other maps. So color, OpenGL, normal map, roughness map. Pull and drag this in here. So normal map should be here color map i'll put up here okay all right so let's plug in the normal map okay, first of all let's select this should be on raw take this on select this roughness also should be on raw alpha is luminous okay and i will select this okay ai normal AI normal plug this to output pop the out color to input add value to normal camera so default is fine collapse this click on this so if you want I've already done, done this already so let me stop this let me just show you guys the results so this is the results a combination of the normal map and the displacement map together so this is this is what we have so for now i'll leave this uh maybe i should take this down so i still on the normal map this is the normal map oh uh, let's go let's go half of this so 0 0.5 instead turn this off let's fire up a new okay Mm, this is a bit better. It's not, as, it's not as aggressive as the first one. This you can work with. But if you decide to, we just the distance map only. That you're still on the rack. That's completely fine. Whatever works for you is completely fine. So let me stop this. I'll select the head again. But for the roughness of the head, the IOR use skin for this. And the value I used for this was 0. 0.75 okay then a fire up the render for this we have something like this let me do a quick save 
Yeah, this is fine. A good base. So I'll stop this. Save this. So let's plug. Let's plug the roughness map in there. But I'm going to plug the roughness, roughness, the roughness map in our clear code. So this should be closed. So open this clear quotes. Drag the value all the way up. IR should be on skin. Then open this up. Because this is a black and white map, so it should be the R R G B any of the R G B channels should work. Then just plug this to quotes roughness. Okay. So let's fire up our render again. Upgrade also. So this is our results. This is results we are, which is fine why because on this edge you can see the roughness is not too sharp on this edge based on the light source in here it's kind of making the reflections have a bright higher light to it then you can see the tissue where we added more oiliness to it and on the forehead around the nose on the lips those are those are completely fine around this side of the eye it's completely fine so this is what i want so i'm going to leave this as it is let me do a quick save for this Okay, so with that out of the way now, uh, okay, yeah, with that, with that out of the way, so the next thing is the XSS material. So, XSS material, so I have a setup in here. So, on that subsurface card frame, I'll increase this all the way up, okay. Uh, okay, before that, before that, let's plug in our column map. Let's plug in our column map or increase all the way up. So, this this isn't really a big issue. So just drag color to base color. Uh, we don't need to change the color space, color space is completely fine. So, let's do a quick save. Okay, let's do a render. Uh, you see quite a lot of issues, most especially from the light. So let's stop this. So I'll select the dome lights. So for the intensity, let me draw, let's drop this to 0 0.8. Let's fire this up again. Let's see what we have. Okay, I think this is a better looking for a better looking one. All right, that's slightly better in here. Maybe we should rotate it a bit more. Let's go one thirty. Let's go one thirty in here. Now I still want to keep that bright highlight around here, so let me just go one fifteen. Let's see one eighteen instead. Mm, something pretty much be fine. Okay. I'll just give you some render out some come back is done. Not completely done, maybe a few percentage in. I think this is a good one, so let's stop this render. Take a snapshot of this and let's zoom in. Okay, yeah, this this looks good so far. So now let's select this head. Let's add SSS to this. Mm. This skin looks quite rough. Maybe even maybe even too rough. Maybe even so sort rough. Of. Maybe too so rough. Uh, let me get this to zero point three. Let's see. See if that even does anything. 
Uh, I believe I'm doing this wrong. I believe I'm doing this wrong. So I'll put this to 0 0.5. Right then I would go to this rough thing here. Color bars. Let's brighten this up. So let's do isolates. Let's do an isolate. See this. It's just blown out. It's blown out way too much. Let's go. Let's see. Okay. Let's turn this up. Let's see what we have. So reflective. Still reflective. So select this. Turn it back to 7.5 Okay I think I can live with this, so stop this for now. Increase the subsurface scattering, do a quick save. It should be on random work, random work is fine. The value in here should be 0 0.1. Then the radius should be on RGB 1 to 0 to 1. It should be on, I think the values in here should be 3520, okay. So zero point thirty five. What is this? Zero point thirty five. Then zero point twenty. So it's more or less like a skin, fleshy skin tone to it. So let's save this. Let's run a render for this. So we have so now I'm something. Let's stop this for now. Uh, okay. So our color map is supposed to be plugged to should be plugged also to the Subsurface color. So, what is this? What the crap is this? Ah, uh, what is going on? Why is why? What is this? Why am I getting this? Select all of this, it's one. Is there a way to, is there a way to arrange this? Forgotten how to arrange. To arrange graph. What is this? What's going on? So she not get me confused. I pass it. Am 
I get in this? Okay, okay, okay. So I'll plug the art color again to well, subsurface color. So again. Okay. So to give you some moment to render out. Well, the SSS SSS feels a bit strong in here, though. Looking quite strong. Um, it's only down to zero zero instead. Let's try zero eight here. Trying to figure out though. Uh, let's try zero point zero. Trying to reduce the effects though. You have to make sure the the um, reward scale should be on reward scale. Which I've already done already before starting this project. So, just trying to find something that works proper for skin. So I'll just give you a moment. I'll come back when this is done.